When you All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the watch this shit. And its demon overlord discovers which dimension you've just come from. You have good reason to wonder how long that dimension has left before said demon transforms it into an ornament for his throne room. It's me! You played Magic Carpet 1, you recognize this guy. Oh shit! And I smell the fear of mortal men. Mm -hmm. Then you remember that promising apprentice you once introduced to the Eldritch Arts. Yet again, me. No! I've been watching you masturbate. I've come to claim my revenge. Master? I see you have met your new neighbor. This is the demon lord of the netherworld. He's a fun guy. Hell of a party. Anyways, I am kicking off this new uh, Let's Play of an old game, Magic Carpet 2. One of my favorites. One of my favorites ever. I actually played the second one before I ever played the first one. That's okay, because the second one actually has a storyline to it. Welcome to the main menu. Anyways, this just came out in Grand Old Games, and I've, like, found copies of it before, but my CD is long, long gone in the sands of time, so I wasn't ever able to get it working where the actual voices would show up, so I never, ever thought I'd ever play through this game again, but then Grand Old Games comes along and brings it black and to its full and untarnished glory so let's go ahead and jump on in and i'll show you what this thing is all about you must first explore Welcome. the outer netherworlds while you learn its magic your first destination is the ancient city of Juar. Anyways, welcome to this little overmap we've got going on here. This is the world we will be uh, traveling around in as we are doing our wizardly stuff and by wizardly stuff this is what i mean Follow me in. Welcome to the loading screen. That's some fly towards low 90 people. stuff. Switching the resolution because for some reason it doesn't want to remember what my resolution is. And welcome to Magic Carpet. Here's our. That's not the map button. Uh, da, 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 there it is. This is our first little level. And if you take a look at the map, you will see that it is not very large at all. Yeah, this is. It all repeats. I'm not sure exactly where the boundary is that it uh, starts turning into itself, but this is all one thing. This is the entire world that we've got on this level as of yet. Its own little mini dimension or something like that. Anyways, we are supposed to fly towards his beacon. Uh, for some reason, the disembodied voice of our old magic master is uh, letting us know some things. There's the beacon, and just so you know, I'm on a flying carpet. You can't see it because this is early 90s technology, and it looked pretty good back then, uh, but it's there, the else I wouldn't be able to do this. Fire. There you will find a spell jar. There are little guys, and I'll explain the mechanics of this game as we go along. This is just an introductory level. It's getting uh, people used to what's going on and whatnot. And if you look over here, you'll see that little thing right there. That is a new spell. We have two spells so far. We have this little doodad, and that won't make any sense until later on what that does, so I'm not even going to explain it yet. This, however, is pretty self-apparent. Oh yes, fireballs aplenty. Burn in the countryside, burn in the villagers. It's just what we gotta do. Those people are carrying pots on their head. They obviously deserve to suffer in hellfire. But anyways. As I was saying, let's go ahead and pick this new spell up. These oh my goodness! The spell jar. They must be vanquished. Those four flashing little white dots down there. They're flashing red. They are white. There's an important distinction. Anyways, they are guarding another spell jar, which I'll get in a second. But I have this new spell to show you. And it does this. You throw a rock, it turns into a tower with a fucking balloon on top of it. Oh, geez. You see those three things up in the uh, top of the screen right there? The first one from the right of the minimap is our castle. It'll show the health of our castle. It'll show a little gold ball down there at the bottom. I'll explain what that does in a second. And it'll uh, also, to the right of that, it'll show the balloon and another little uh, 
yellow dot, and to the right of that, a weird little thing was just actually us on top of Magic Carpet with our HP and our uh, little yellow ball. Now, let me take a look at the map and see if there's anything around here. It'll be easy to show you exactly what I mean when I say little yellow ball. Those little yellow balls are mana. Magical energy. How much do I have? If you take a look at the upper right of the screen, you'll see this little fire thing here. As I continue to fire fireballs, yeah, my ammunition, I suppose, goes away. Oh my goodness, I'm burning the goats, and they're turning into balls. You see, everything in this uh, continuity has magical energy associated with it called mana, and when you kill it, it will pop out of it. Now, in its golden, unaffiliated state, it's no good to anybody, but as soon as we do our little claim mana spell, what's it actually called? Um, possession. There, there we go. You cast that, they turn white. What is the distinguishment of the white color, or rather the importance of the white? That means it belongs to me, it means I can use it for um, further spells. As you can see, my ammunition bar is a lot bigger than it used to be. And, oh my goodness, here comes a balloon as if from nowhere. What is it doing? It's flying over to the mana I just claimed. Now, now you might see why that little bar on our castle is not white, it's actually grayed out. You see, the balloon, when I claim mana, is going to come out, it's going to grab the mana, it can only hold a certain amount, as you can see, it's filling up, and then it will go back to the castle and drop off its supply. Now, everything I just got here, it's nowhere near enough to be able to fill up what we've got already. As you can see, the little level 1 on the castle there, once I fill it up to a certain amount, it will be able to be leveled up and I'll get more attachments to my castle, it'll be able to hold more mana, and I will have a larger pool from which to throw fireballs and other things, which we will get to over the course of this Let's Play. It's got like 25 levels and they can get pretty long, so I fully intend to definitely complete the entirety of this Let's Play, but uh, in order to do that, I'm going to have to burn all of these goats to the ground. Alright. Um, but, you know, this is going to take a little bit of my time and I don't really want to bother you guys since I've already done this before and done it almost to 100% completion and I've already got a save file of it over somewhere else. So we will just continue over to the big flashing red objective sign on our uh, minimap, which is where we were before. Now, you see the little houses there, how they have those little pink dots over them on the minimap? Well, that means we can claim them, and I believe it means that we'll get a small boost to our total amount of um, available mana, but I'm not completely sure about that. Never have been. It's always been kind of ambiguous, but it's the only thing I can think of, and those guys are definitely trying to kill me. It's not very nice of them, is it? What the hell? Just got random free mana over here. It kind of concerns and confuses me. Played this mission a lot of times. That's never happened before. That's all right, though. As you can see, our health will slowly regenerate when we are hit. I will inevitably die, so once that happens, I'll explain how the death mechanics in this game work. Until then, you all will get to ponder in, 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 in frustration. These all right. Destroy them. Now, what was that guy talking about? More fireflies? That's all right, because now we have a new spell that lets us go very quickly past the fireflies. Vroom! As you can see on the little uh, spells there, the Roman numeral one, what does that mean? It means that for our spells, if we use them enough, as you can see, I've already gone and used the fireball quite a bit. Uh, if we use them enough, then we can get better versions of them. La -de -da, let's go see what happens when we build another level of our tower. Let's go over there a little bit faster. Whoosh! Alright, here is our castle. Kaboom! Nothing to worry about. Just four more towers. Eventually we'll get walls and later on you might even be able to have some people in there defending it. Defending it from what? Who knows? Find out next time because I'm going to split this into individual episodes as needed. Now, let's just kill the shit out of whatever the hell these things are. Oh my god, they're bugs! Bugs filled with beautiful golden mana. Can I get them to come at me one at a time? Or are they going to attack my balloon? They better not fucking attack my balloon. Those things... I can't really remember whether they're a pain in the ass if they die, but I think they are. We'll 
We'll find out eventually. Come on. Yes, yes, attack me. And die. If you attack me, it's much easier to kill you. Though, you can still be kind of annoying because their AI makes them spastic. It's kind of hard to lock onto them with our little fireball here. There is a little bit of aiming assistance since, you know, there's no reticule. God, I love this game. And you will see why as I continue on this Let's Play. The... Like, every single one of these slots is a different spell, and they all do something. Well, not every single one of them. Some are much better than others, but most of them do pretty cool stuff. If you've ever just wanted to know magical powers. Eventually, it gets kind of ridiculous. The things you'll be able to do. I'm not sure what these scrolls are. Come. There is much more to do. Oh, looks like we are done with this particular mission. So, that is our little introduction to... Uh, da, 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 da. what's the name of this game again? Magic Carpet 2 The Netherworld. It is good shit, and I hope you guys enjoy it because I'm gonna do it whether or not you do! Hee 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 ha! Hey, it looks like we got some mana over here. And some more ghosts, but if you look over on the map over here, there's something else. Our first real enemy, maybe? Could be, I don't know. Um, can I hear it? Oh my goodness, what the hell is that horrible thing? Hey you, buddy. Oh my goodness, it's throwing fireballs of its own. Oh man, that is a classic scream from gaming for me. Oh, time to die, you horrible bastard. Awful worm thing. Die, die, die in fire. Please? Oh, thank you. Thank you for all of that mana. So kind. Anyways, where were we? I just wanted to show you the third upgrade to the castle to demonstrate Hallelujah, we have walls ladies and gentlemen and an archer three or four That'll be much more important as time goes on. So anyways, let's get the hell out of here Room now on my other save I took the liberty of uh, leveling up through the first level of fireball So you guys will get a nice little treat and see what the second level of that is uh, here shortly well, probably tomorrow for you guys, but it'll be like five minutes from now for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Here is the introduction to Magic Carpet 2 from yours truly, Albatross of Time. Bada boop. Turn, 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 vroom into the portal. And we're done. That was good for me. Oh, God, what a horrible playthrough. Oh, well, see you guys next time.